And so I'm going through the TSA, right? And this TSA worker goes, Jamie Foxx left your ass. <laughs> And it was like, it was so wrong. It was hilarious to me. You know, just so so people are clear, when the Jamie Foxx show finished, um, Jamie started hosting award shows. And, um, you know, he hosted the ESPY Awards, uh, the MTV uh, Video Awards, the VMAs, um, and you know, myself, Chris Spencer, we started writing for him, you know, and uh, so we were behind the scenes, you know, in, in a writing capacity. And once I started writing and producing, that took a life of its own. So a lot of people feel like, well, what happened to you after the Jamie Foxx show? I started writing and producing. And that didn't stop, you know what I mean? Like, you know, Jamie was was blowing up and he was getting these great opportunities to host these big award shows. You know, he brought along the dudes that he trusted. We had a rapport. We know how to create things that were funny, that, that made an impact. So my career went in a different direction and that's another thing about Hollywood is like, if it starts happening, you just go with the flow. You know what I mean? It wasn't like I, I ever felt like, oh, okay, I'm done acting. It's just, I didn't stop working as a writer producer, right? And most recently, um, you know, prior to getting hired to write on that Oscars where, you know, that happened between Will and Chris, I was Cedric the Entertainer's head writer on the, um, the Emmys. I wrote on the American Music Awards, and then I got hired to write on the Oscars. There was an incident that we came across where a woman made a comment towards you at the airport. Um, <laughs> is there any to that? <laughs> and what did she say to you? Uh, and then how so did you, I was, you um, responded with laughter? I, yeah, I was doing shows with Sean Wayans, right? Which was super cool. Like Sean asked me if I uh, would open for him. And I was like, yeah, absolutely. And it was the first chance that I really had to go out and see the impact that these characters I created uh, made. You know what I mean? Because like if you stay in Hollywood, you know, Hollywood is about, you know, what are you doing now and what's next? You know, like they really discredit the things that you've already done. And so I'm going through the TSA, right? And this TSA worker goes, Jamie Foxx left your ass. <laughs> and it was like, it was so wrong. It was hilarious to me. Cause I was like, uh, I'm about to leave your ass. <laughs> Cause I'm getting on this flight and I'm flying back to Hollywood, you know what I mean? To go work with Jamie. Yeah, and, and right, and me and Jamie are still cool, you know what I mean? Right. But it's like, people, like, that's also like, I, you know, that's just a testament that you actually matter to people, you know what I mean? That they feel they can say anything to you. Like, so I laugh at the fact that that was the most uncool thing you could say to me. Like I would have preferred, you know, hey, crazy legs or whatever, right? But it, it did make me laugh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, a, I think that's, um, it, it opens up the, the layers of what the perception of stars like Jamie should do. Cause right. he's not obligated to right. anyone else, but right. his family and himself. Right. And right. so, you know, there's that expectation of, well, Jamie's supposed to put everybody on around him. I've seen that right. before. Right. And then I think it is a, it is a genuine response of a fan who um, one would see you on the show to be like, well, what's been going on? Maybe more so projecting that they loved you so much and they liked you so much that they should have seen you more. Right. Is there any reason why outside of your decisions, is there any reasons why like you feel that we haven't seen you more on screen or was it just deliberately saying, I'm going to go and get money with writing and kind of be secure there? Well, like I said, I, I feel like when the writing and producing started happening, it didn't stop. And so you know, it's like when someone's offering you a chance to wield power with the pen 
and you don't have to go audition and prove your work as an actor, like, why wouldn't you do that? I, I definitely feel like the people that know the business understand the power of writing and producing. I think the people that just like what they like and they like the fact that I've created stuff on camera that people dig and are into, they want to see me create more stuff, which is cool. Like I'm, I'm with that, but who's to say that I'm, I'm done creating, you know what I mean? Like I, I definitely, like I'm in, I'm in a, at a point in my career right now, especially post Oscars where it's like, okay, I get to decide what I want to do next. If I want to go back to acting, I can always do that. You know what I mean? I now have the skills with the pen that I can also write something that may be bigger than anything I've created up until this point. And that's exciting.